Howdy cowdies. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. Hope you're going good. Once again, we've been really busy. Lots of nice stuff. Lovely little part sterling silver manicure set. I think it's missing a pair of scissors, but you get a bonus button hook over on the lid there. Really nice little Chinese carved chess set. Really nice little shaped board. It's like a little traveling chess set. Nice little collection of mixed items in there. Nice little ladies unicorn watch in the box on the top. Nice little nine carat gold cigarette holder. Some Eastern silver, Mexican silver. You got the nice little French wine taster. And a nice Greek silver bowl over the back. A nice big silver chain, some silver napkin rings, and some other bits. Won't show you anything, everything, then there's no surprises. Nice stuff as well. This little coffee table is really nice with the hand-painted top. Pretty amazing gilt frame mirror with all the sort of carved wood, grape and vine. Victorian cedar bookcase is really nice. A couple of nice little Bakelite radios, little Aristone one and the Air Zone. Little Nesta 3 Calmar, Calmar retro tables. Lovely little Sheraton style table with a nice sort of inlaid decoration, shells and banding. Another nice little chair. Cards tables a ripper. We've got two nice little chairs as well. Display cabinet. Some cool clothes. You've got a navy coat, a little sort of short waistcut, sort of double-breasted. Some more military clothing here and a pretty cool Carlton Cricket Club Premier's 1950, 53 and 56 blazer. Some great retro pants and stuff. These blue sort of spandex stretchy 70s ones. A pair of skis. Give it about 20 minutes and we'll all be needing them to get home. This is a cool box of all vintage magazines and stuff like that. Records and stereo gear. There you go. You got half a boat. Uh, Cook's last stand from Hawaii, apparently. There you go. It's been chopped off and it's been converted into a bar. A little shelf in the back and stuff like that, I think. Cool thing. Some retro materials and pants. Oh, these are all retro sort of clothing and pants and stuff. Records. Nice little eastern table. Good turntable and a good Sony reel to reel. Some more cool materials. There's some great retro materials over there, actually. These are really cool. Real 1950s sort of atomic sort of stuff. I think there's one little tablecloth in there, and then there's just sort of bits of material, but real cool mid century modern sort of look. Uh, what else have we got? Nice little Victorian table. Some more nice little chairs. Edwardian dressing table's a ripper, apart from the bastard in the mirror. <laughs> Some caneware, little shelf's pretty cool. Collection of furniture, like the yellow chairs. Carpenter's toolbox. Some tools. Some footies and sporting gear down the back. What else have we got? There's a great little retro sort of teak little corner table. Here's a really nice little thing. A couple of nice paintings by John Shields. There you go, box of records, some wooden stuff. Kind of like that table which someone's made out of an old gate. <laughs> That's with the Singer sewing machine table. A nice Australian Martinez, what is it, Timber Ridge semi-acoustic. Here's a ripper. A rug from Kazakhstan. What else have we got? Toys, really nice collection of books, Australian birds. This is all nice Australian sort of exploration stuff. Dictionary of Music and Musicians, two big bound volumes. One of them's a London Illustrated News. Can't remember what the other one is. Big shelf lot of China, EPNS. What else have we got? More sort of Australian fauna and flora books. Uh, more sort of exploration Australian historical stuff. Beef, cattle breeding and management. Um, some more cool movie magazines, screen book, movie life, some great covers and stuff, modern screen. Interesting little lot of books. Georgian cabinet makers. That's, some, that's a nice little group. Got some cool old army boots and leather satchels and things. 
Some nice paintings this week. Charles Bock oils a little ripper of the boats at Anchorage and Meetung. Andre Solier, a little ink. You've got the nice signed Clifton Pew print. Lovely big Mary Hammond drawing there called The Conference. Etching an aquatint by Tim Lane. Lovely Rita McLean watercolour. Japanese woodblock print. Hiroshig, I think. There's another one down here by Emayo Kainen or Kainen. More cool Screenland sort of movie star magazines. Nice collection of brass. Some mounted items. Tanberg original cartoon. Little mint carded road machines. Some tracks, another Australian die cast. Charger. Australian tins, matchboxes. Another nice Japanese woodblock print. Good collection of mint Australian stamps. This is pretty cool, a slot car racing set with the cars that actually transform. There you go, like a transformer. Really cool little lot. There's a bonus car in there, but you've got the two transforming cars. A clock mounted out of an old automobile, a nice old Smith's clock. Artillery shell with the text. Last Cruise of the Emden, pretty cool book, pretty important little bit of Australian military history. If Winter Comes, this is another nice signed book. Uh, what else have we got? Big collection of WEG cartoons. These are all originals. There's a roll of about 20 here, and there's the two framed up. And the majority of them are in French or German. That's the only one that's in English. But some cool stuff. Big Brass Jardineers, a ripper. Nice pair of sort of framed Art Deco Egyptian prints. Um, some sort of Balinese carved items and a couple of Chris. Nice meek and dinner set. Blue glass. Bakelite. Bit of xylonite. These pretty cool. Little sort of portable phone. Little field phone. Lovely lot of scales with the weights. Alright. More nice sort of white metal eastern goods. Nice little fairy cabinet uh, little baby's plate there with the bunnikins and you got a nice beswick mickey mouse one art deco clock nice collection of pretty old pewter lovely big wedgewood dinner set pair of nice majolica cabinet plates this is a lovely lot of victorian porcelain the parian jug and the little teapots a little bit of damage unfortunately but they're beautiful things um really good collection of crystal um signed boda and stewart Dolls, a good one. I really like the little Art Nouveau dish. Nice collection of pretty English china. Uh, brassware. Rosenthal Studio line. This is lovely, this. The hand-painted tray. Royal Albert Trio with a nice little drink set. And then some lovely stuff in the end cabinet. The AWA Art Deco Bakelite Radio is an absolute snorkeler. He's a fantastic clock with a large big pendulum to hang down. It's got all the chains and weights. Ida Rental Earth weight print. And this is a rip of it, the original 50s South Pacific um, poster there from His Majesty's Theatre. Another nice doll. 800 continental silver frame. A couple of bits of carved wood, including this lovely little sort of handle. St. George's Ponsbury 1250, I think that's the date when the actual cathedral or church was actually built there. Amazing porcupine quill box, really nice spirit kettle, carnival glasses, nice. This is a really interesting photograph, B. Chidley and Co. photo, um, Lang Warren. All right, a couple of nice bits of Australian pottery, Les Blakeborough Sturt over the back. A reproduction piece of Scrimshaw. A couple of nice little Victorian porcelain fairings robbing the mail. M-A-I-L. But she's getting his cash out of his strides. A nice book as well, Ishmaelia. Uh, a couple of bits of Oz pottery, the Wembley. And I've got some nice stuff up the top shelf. Little Claris Cliff Crocus, McLaren Ball. A couple of nice bits of glass. This is quite an unusual little... I think it's an Ansonia brand little flip number Plato clock. It is being sold as as found. Um, 800 silver tray. Lovely bit of modernist Zolne. Really like the cast iron string dispenser. And he's a ripper of a bit. A couple of nice bits of Chinese blue and white. And a nice little Weems, I think, Scottish hand decorated pot. And that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. I don't care if you did or if you didn't. We'll see you guys tomorrow night.